Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Japan. Off camera I made a few adjustments to the names. Um, I, uh, was it, I get Lord Jigero, uh, Jigero, however you say it, gave up his two destroyers since he has another ship already. Uh, and now we have the Hirakaze 2 and the Jigumu Nojo 3, the third, the first third that we've had in the game. Uh, because both of his ships were um, the Hakazi class, which I scrapped. But we've ushered him into uh, a new command under the Kamikazes. And I hope that they kind of live up to their name. That's what they're expected to do, is just throw themselves without any regard for their own life um, at the enemy fleets. Uh, yeah, and I have also thrown in a few more, like Akai Suki, Shimakaze, Honcho, Kashinokai. I I've had to throw in a few names of people who just almost certainly aren't going to make it <laughs> onto the list unless I do something. There's a few more names, and I'm hoping we can get uh, at least one more Dreadnought, but you can see we already even have one paused. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be difficult. Now, we do f start freeing up some space really quickly as the Nihon class is just about to finish, and that's gonna be good. Then we can start getting, I, I, obviously, if it takes three years for these to build, and it does, um, it's going to be difficult to get them into the game at all if we start building them, so I might have time for one more. I was going to name one more the Yamato, which is a, both a memory of the Super Yamato, which was somebody's light cruiser, but also um, Tamika Burks asked for a Yamato, and I was kind of letting them share the Super Yamato, but Yamato being like the other name for Nihon for Japan uh, would be, I think, really appropriate to put in as our endgame uh, dreadnought. So... Uh, it is found that, ch whoa, our dreadnought Tortuga-san is commissioned in the Navy during trials. It is found that the ship is easily surpassing her design speed. So the least important ship to surpass her design speed, unfortunately, is our dreadnoughts or our dreadnoughts, but it's still obviously nothing negative to have a ship that's one knot faster than you expected. So we can see that these, instead of being 22, and I left them at 22 to just match speed with the Fujis. They, in fact, are going to be 23. That is, I can't, I basically just, that's the least important. I would have preferred that on destroyers, light cruisers, battle cruisers. Of course, on battle cruisers, that would have been the most important. But we got it on the least important ship, which is our dreadnoughts. They don't, they're not intended to, to chase down ships. If anything can survive their 17-inch guns, then uh, I, well, I can't fathom a circumstance where that's possible. Anyway, that's basically like saying... The Earth is bigger than the Sun, only to the people who aren't well informed. So uh, let's go ahead and push on. Convoy attack, battle in support of land combat. Let's see how our Nihon Kaigun is doing. She is not going to get involved because the British have declined. So we will also accept this one. We can see that the force disparity is really fa favoring us um, quite a lot at this point. But this is very strange that we are only given command of two ships. And we're supposed to sink some ships. Oh, it's nice that they at least give us some, some indications as to where they might be. Let's find out what these ships are, and let me also get this stuff all up. Okay, let me move my <laughs> list of names over a little bit. Save that, by the way. Yeah, so I have one, uh, two more. I'm trying to get, basically, uh, one more Dreadnought. That'll be the Yamato. I'm also going to read off the other names that I have on the list that may... I'm going to try to get maybe some more light cruisers. Oh, I forgot to mention that I was looking at the Almanac off camera. And we're pretty much even in everything. I kind of lump capital ships together. That's usually how they fight, is the big guns versus the big guns. I don't mind having less battle cruisers. In fact, I think it's generally advantageous, because obviously the battle cruisers sacrifice either armor or ammo or guns, I should say, for speed. And if you are in a straight-up fleet combat, speed is the least important thing, I think. I mean, besides getting positioning. So we will have a hell of a time going up against the Americans, who actually still have 50% more dreadnoughts than us. And they have three being built. We have four being built. These are super end game. You can see that at the end, the tonnage-wise, we're not doing too bad. But we are doing bad tonnage-wise right now. Like, look how big of a jump this is. Whereas theirs three are about 30,000 apiece, it looks like. So... Um, slightly over, but that's that looks good for us if that's what they're building. Now, on the other hand, they have just a like a horrifying tonnage of battle cruisers. 
which will be difficult to deal with, we're going to have to rely on our Dreadnoughts ultimately. And that means that, sure, some of them may be able to get away, but we'll win the battles that they do get away from, so that's nice. Um, down to uh, heavy cruisers, I think we're sitting about right, considering that we've kind of, I think everyone kind of concedes the, what was my famous quote that <laughs> was put on the little picture? Um, the worst price per performance in the fleet, I think was what I said, something like that. And I still stand by that statement. Light cruisers, we're doing about right. You know, maybe even a little on the high side, and then a little bit on the low side with destroyers. But we'll be able to fix that because those are really easy to just keep building. So so that all said, let's get into the action here. Let me figure out what we have. These are our Hashidati class, the end game. These are only five inch guns, and I probably, now that we have quality one, oh, that's another thing we have to do is upgrade our light cruisers, but we probably would be well served to get almost a carbon copy of the Hashidati, except for replace the five with six. And maybe if we have the ability to upgrade these to quad mounts on the sides so all right but let's stop talking about all the stuff and just get into the fun of it which is the battle i'm gonna go this way oh what the hell Light cruiser are we being supported here oh we are let's go find our support fleet how's our visibility yeah our visibility is you notice our torpedo range with five inch guns is um about 20% larger than our, our five inch guns at this point, <laughs> which is funny. Okay, we have a Crusader class. This is a bad, sh it's a bad time to be a Crusader destroyer right now when you're running into two five inch gunned uh, light cruisers. It's basically the perfect thing. Oh, are they going after our ships? Well, we can't have that. Oh my God, our ships are also light cruisers. That's one dead ship. So we wanna do a little bit of zigzagging Okay, it's dead in the water. Doesn't mean it can't launch torpedoes. Um, I see another transport ship here. We want to get that as well because we need two. Okay, pause. Oh, we just need to sink one ship. Okay, then we're probably already well on our way to succeeding with that. The more transports we can sink, the better though. And that's probably that. Good. So let's just move around the map and see if we can find another ship. Okay, well, I thought that was us for a second and I was scared to death. I am going to put pause on sightings, identifications, where is it? New sighting. So that way I can go faster and it'll let me know when we spot something. Because uh, obviously if you're going really fast speed and running into something, they can be well within your range, much quicker than you want them to be. So we'll go up a little bit faster. Yeah, definitely if we're going this fast, we're going to want... Okay, those are our friendly ships. Oh, okay, good. So here we go. It, I think this is going to be just fine. This looks like another transport ship. We'll track this down, no problem. Um, I'm trying to eliminate the bonus that they get for having some transport ships survive. We'll see at the end of this. Sometimes they have like a little um, bonus for this many. Oh, they abandoned ship, you saw <laughs> over here. Let me just show you. It's pretty funny. Heaves two, crew abandoned ships. Crew abandons ship. Okay, so basically we'll just circle make sure it's dead if they abandoned ship they left the ship just moving okay there it goes and we will also continue yeah i guess that was probably the the one they were referring to well we'll just continue at max speed notice that now our endurance is good enough that we can do this kind of thing without fear of losing our top speed which is quite nice okay we actually have not a lot of fuel left but probably enough to make it we can drop down the speed a little bit. Say hello to Singapore. We're coming for you next, Singapore. Okay, good. So this is a major victory. They did have a bonus for one surviving merchant. Darn it, but that's okay. We still got two of the three. And we sunk their ship, which is, is good. Where uh, They were over there. I should have guessed. That's fine. Visibility didn't allow us to actually find them. So, onward. Ah, the Nihon Kagun had trouble. No, that's the one we need. Okay, wow. Again, the British escape. I don't know how their diplomats do it. It's very frustrating to deal with. Their diplomats, I mean, once again, they... Just nothing. Oh my god, no, zoom out. Okay, thank you. So in the end... 
Uh, did we take any of their territories? I think we were invading Hong Kong and we are invading Zanzibar? Kenya? Well, really in the end, nothing happened. I hate this. I really, really, really loathe this. If we can go back to war with them, I, I will, to be honest. It's a little bit of a waste of budget. Let's just put this down. How much does it save? It's four, okay, it's 420,000. That's not a lot. That's basically one destroyer. I'll sacrifice one destroyer to try to get tensions up with them faster. It's really frustrating though. It's really just really annoying. All right, now, though we're at the end of the war, our Takedas are gonna stick around. I think, unfortunately, our y Yakumas are not. They're just too expensive. 412, because uh, I was thinking about making the, uh, scrapping the Capitan, but honest to goodness, this is cheaper and better performance than the Yakumas. Uh, yeah, and just know, <clears throat> I'm happy, Guardsman Gary, that you I really like that you stood by your stick stick yeah stood by your guns, stuck by your principle, and wanted a an armor a heavy cruiser. I really like that. <laughs> it's something I can respect. But unfortunately, it's just in this game, I I don't see these being very useful. So we're gonna scrap them. And uh, you know, basically, I I can't play this game trying to uh please everyone. But if I could, in a way that you know didn't hinder my gameplay, I would absolutely like to. It's just one of those tough things. It's one of the, you know, the reasons why if you just are a YouTuber who kind of stays away from your audience a little more, it's probably beneficial in some sense. <laughs> that You don't have to worry about insulting pe or hurting people's feelings if you play in a way they don't like. Anyways, let's get a few more. We're down to 25. Let's just get four. I'm just trying to nuzzle by. Oh, actually we had a few coming. But that's still fine. Those are always good. Um, budget not looking good. I think we can squeak out another five months, maybe. No. Suddenly our cost is much more expensive. Why? Well, we can with budgets with the tensions really, really, really low. We can send everyone to Northeast Asia, which will cut down on the expenses significantly. So we will do that. Um, the Sagamis probably can stay. What I'll do is I'll send back two Sagamis, so two will stay in each other um, province. North. Are you? Oh, you're already in Northeast Asia. Whoops, that's... Okay, that's actually a good thing. Then let's just... I misread that as Southeast Asia. I don't know how. Northeast Asia, Indian Ocean, so let's pull you out because we have the Sagamis there who surely can satisfy the tonnage requirement. Northeast Asia. Let's get the Takedas to re report back as well. Um, Northeast Asia. And a few ships are gonna be fine in these places. Okay, let's see how that works out in terms of budget. And for now, we are once again going to have to put one of these on pause. Okay, this is still what we're going to be up against. I can't wait. I cannot wait. The British might just be too slippery for us. I think we should just go for the... Oh my god, what the hell is Germany doing? Get out of here, Germany. Go away. Good enough. Zoom, and if we want to get the other one going, we're going to have to do it very, very soon. By all means, is that the budget we need? One month. Okay, let's do it. Let's get our one last Nihon class, and this one will be named the Yamato. Now, uh, there's still some people who I'm trying to get names on. I think uh, those people are, we have Mia, Krisama, Akurai, Inazuma, Manodesu, by Vasilis Spartan, Koru Suru by Kosla, the Oda Nobunaga. I love that name. If I could get, and because Gregory Raider has been very responsive on these comments, I always prefer to give that uh, commenters who comment more or who just seem more involved in the series, I prefer to give them ship commands. Um, so Oba, Oda Nobunaga, uh, if we can squeeze it, I'll get another Dreadnought out. Uh, Oda Nobunaga will probably be the one. Otherwise, 
maybe I can just get one. Like I said, I started talking about an endgame light cruiser, and everyone who I'm talking about here, including the Akai Hana no Akuma by Red Nose, always fun to have his comments around. Uh, I'll try to get all of you guys light cruiser commands, otherwise we do have a few destroyers. And speaking of which, we probably should build some more very soon. Actually, those should be the last thing we build. I immediately correct myself, <laughs> because they don't take that long to build. So better to do, better to get the very long-term build stuff in first. But we already have three Nihons in. My god, I can't wait to try these out in battle. I just can't wait. <laughs> Yeah, I like the design. I don't think I made a picture for it yet, so I'll have to do that. I'll have to remember to do that, write it down or something off camera. They are only slightly more expensive than our Fuji class, which is... I guess it makes sense. No, it doesn't really, actually, to me. Well, 12, 14, 15, that's basically the same, right? 12, 15, 16, 4, 2, and this is 3.5? Yeah, 3.5, 2. Uh, better quality, better, blah. Oh, that's what we have to do. My god, that's going to take a lot of our budget. So probably screw that last thing I said. Um, I probably won't be able to get anybody else. Uh, and one other, even one other dreadnought might be impossible because we have a lot of ships. They're going to need some retrofits. Although this looks good, I probably don't need to worry about maintaining fleet presence other than what I have here. Um... What's our adjusted forces in these places? 210 in the Indian Ocean. Should we just continue to bump that? I think so. Improved base. I know it's very expensive and we don't have much. Uh, 379 in Southeast Asia is probably going to be enough. Yeah. I guess, what's this one at? 200? We can improve this one and it should be... That should be all we need. Okay, let's just do that. And then turn our eyes so I don't risk spending more money. Okay, now we have some ships which might be becoming obsolete soon. Not these, I guess, which is good. They'll probably make it till the end of the game. They should, at least. 1935, these are going to be obsolete soon. 1935, also going to be obsolete soon. 37, also. Takedas are 39. They'll probably make it to the end of the game. The Nihon will definitely make it to the end of the game. There's nothing we possibly could even do with these guys, I guess. Yeah, everything is quality one already. Oil, yep, but yeah, yep. That is certainly a finished class. I'm not going to do any engine retrofits on the Sagami. Same thing why we don't really care about the astronaut on the Nihons. Would have loved those on the Takedas. Instead, we had the negative one. These should have been 29. They were designed to be 29. It's just a real shame that they aren't 29. And I mean, how amazing would it have been if they were 30? Gosh, that would have been something. Uh, absolutely any further cuts in the naval budget are unacceptable. Yikes. How close are we to getting anything out? Very, very far away. Okay, but 27 months, basically two years and change. It's 90, or 46 is when we can expect to go to war. We're basically plowing through the turns of World War II now. I don't really care about the British anymore. I probably will end up editing the file so we go to war with the United States. I think I talked to Blinston about that briefly in the comments and uh, he wasn't particularly happy about it, but I, I, okay, like, they offer us the greatest challenge and I think that to me, that's just the end game boss we really wanna go for. I can't control the Germany's, the fact that Germany's going up. The only way that you have any control is, well, through the pop-ups and then obviously through the intel. I mean, it kinda makes sense that you aren't, the naval, the person in charge of the Navy almost has no impact on how tensions increase with a nation, but um, just because it, it's a game and it would be nice to have a little a little control over that. My biggest complaint about this game, I think right now, is the order of battle stuff, but aside from that, yeah, there's other little things which would be nice too. Man, that's right. Okay, so I'm going to pause this one because... <laughs> We can wait just two years to go to war, then that's the best case to wait on that one. Even though, let's do it this way. That way this one gets out quicker so we can faster have more of a budget. Uh, my god. Tension down, I can't. We're going to go for tension up. I don't want to go to war with them, but I need the money. Just a little bit more, and then we can get... I don't care about you. 
British ships. A little bit more and we can get this guy unpaused. We're certainly helping them. I don't know why I did a technological agreement with them. Let's bring it up to high. Nah, it's budget though. I wish I could break that agreement. Ah, threatened by, yes, USA, absolutely. I guess it doesn't matter if Italy takes all their stuff. I just don't like the tensions not going up, which is probably partly why that's happening. We have a tech sharing agreement. Okay, we can unpause, which is perfect timing because 1819 now. Okay, the rally, yep. So this is what we have to design essentially is exactly what the Americans are actually one step, one step ahead of us here. Uh, if we do it, we're going to have to do it soon because that's 20 months to do, to build. Um, why do they still give us that weird thing? So we will again be doing, taking advantage of the AF, super, AF, AF center line superimposed. I'm having some problems speaking today. Increase, 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 increase at a minimum, at a minimum this. Medium, not cramped, take this down to 20. I don't really care about sinking people with mines as much as I care about, even down to zero. We have one, Hashidati I think has the, can we get over here? Good. Um, the Hashidati, you have mines, right? Mines, actually the Hashidati only has 20, but the Takachio has 30. Yeah, we're good on mines, we don't need those. This is gonna be a combat vessel. Um, I think I'm okay with this, again, I don't, is that two, damn it. Uh, balls. Let's just figure this out. How do I get rid of this one? Nope. Okay, it's number four. Do this again. Four. There we go. Because now I'm going to change this to that. And it doesn't have a superstructure in front of it, which I like to see. Increase, 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 increase. I'd prefer to get this one more, but let's see what we're how we're doing on tonnage when we get all these other things ironed out. 2.5, 2, 4.5, 2.5, 2, um, none, no secondaries, probably 150 is fine, and advanced director, 29, we want 30, is this possible? Make it so. It is, it's quite possible, in fact, 8,000 I think is the limit for us, and we don't need to make it, but, oh my goodness. The dream ship. I can't imagine anything better than this unless, oh heavens, unless we did this. Wow, that is a fast light cruiser. We can even get this up to 30 or we can get more ammunition. I think I'd prefer the ammunition, honestly. You never know when these are just gonna have, be in one of those really, really, really extended fights. And it's more, like to more likely to happen in fleet engagements, believe it or not, just because there's always a target to shoot at with your with your guns. And the penetration things uh, stats on this should be insane. I'm guessing like 15 at 5,000. Well, call me an idiot. It's very high. I thought that the six inch, the five inch guns were even penetrating a lot. Where did I get this number from? I'm now embarrassed quite embarrassed. Oh, it was only six. Where did I get this number from? I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't ask me. <laughs> I won't tell. Six inch guns penetrating eight inch armor. It, it, it doesn't seem that high to me actually. So that means our, uh, this is actually a good thing, a very good thing. That means our both our battle cruisers and our dreadnoughts are protected against light cruisers, which is really nice, quite nice. Hmm. Um. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do. We don't need director firing because uh, that doesn't exist. I mean, it doesn't. We don't have any guns. Four remaining. No need to do that anyway. I like it. I I really, really, really like it. Except for the name, Takasago class. Okay, let's, just because we are really down on our luck in terms of numbers, we've got this Yamato already done. We're going to name this, I, I got I, I know how to do this. We can name this the, no, I think, I'm going to name this, I really like this name, the Krasama class. 
I don't know what that means, but this is William Craig, uh, William Krieg's suggestion. The Chrysoma class. Just because we don't have that many uh, names remaining, and I'm going to try to squeeze them all in under this, since almost surely we can't get another dreadnought. So, um, anything I'm missing? Always important to get to. What? Where the hell did this come from? What are you doing? You pretend to have a smokestack. Delete it. Where did that line come from? Update. <laughs> I had no idea. So is this uh, is this line going to be visible forever? This is the line, and there's nothing else that has a line. So where what the hell is this? I'm going to hope that it doesn't exist. In fact, let's save it and then open it. So close, reopen. Please don't be there. Uh, actually, it's there no matter what. So forget it. Who cares? We already got the Chrysama class. We'll just go ahead and build it. Uh, it's a good name. I liked it. Chrysama. All right. So we are going to be able to get none. Let's try to get one for now. And it's just better not to pause them. That's actually worse because then they can get delayed. So it's just uh, one we will be able to get, right? And then in nine months, if we can make it that far, we should try to get um, a couple more. And then after that, it's just destroyers. Oh, very good. That's exactly what we needed. We should, oh, a disarm room conference. Wouldn't that be interesting? Oh wait, oh my God, I have some ships still going. So yes, we will not be limited. I was thinking like we had finished already our Nihon, but we have three, <laughs> three still under construction. Here it is, the obsolete stuff is coming, but we're gonna have to wait. Good, I'm glad. What? Oh, good, do it. No, not, okay, I probably I'm going to, I'm gonna do it, I apologize, but I don't wanna to go to war with Germany. They have nothing to offer us. In fact, the war would be pretty pointless because uh, we don't have colonies, really. The war would probably take place in the Indian Ocean, but let's just take a look. They have nine, five. It would just be a stomp. I guess there's an argument to be made that we could probably go to war with them and then still get another war with the United States out. And that would secure us one more territory. Uh, let me just put a cut in this video in a moment. If we can survive just please one more month without war, then I can do the retrofits for these off camera. Basically, all I need to do is upgrade the guns. How long is this going to be? Eight months. Good. I'm glad that that doesn't take more than eight months. It's going to be expensive though, so we don't, we probably have to wait a little bit longer. The Azumo, uh, what are you sitting at? Do we have better 11 inch guns? Probably. Nope, wow. Well, you know what, if we scrapped, I think if we scrapped the, um, yeah, I'm gonna scrap the Azumo as well. So thank you, Captain Rabbit, for your service, but we're gonna scrap you because if we scrap the Takuma, uh, sorry, from Takumos, then uh, it only makes sense to scrap that one. This leaves us with only our purely superior uh, naval force. You could. The only argument you can make now is the the Sagamis don't fit in with everything, but these I'm just going to consider as I I really like to to have a strategic projection battleship just for invading that doesn't get involved as much in the fleet battles, and that's what the Sagami will be. So, yeah, all right. And they we did get three. I'll rename these, but wait, no, the Krasama is not actually going to have the name Krasama. We'll rename all these, but I'll, I'll do it off camera. So, good. Uh, no, we do not want anything with Italy. Okay, glad that we made it yet one more month. We'll go one more. Uh, it's too many things to try to get done. Hush it up. Good. That was an important thing. Interesting. I think we'll do this just to avoid, you know, the increase in tensions. 
<laughs> it is true. We are pathetically weak in armored cruisers because we have zero. But they aren't armored cruisers anymore. They're certainly heavy cruisers now. Hashidati. All right. So basically, there's a lot of um, upgrades I'm going to do. I'm just going to... Okay, fine. I just shouldn't take that long. And these shouldn't really cost anything. What do we have to do with these? They're already... See, we got that stupid little... Is that number three? No. Yo, what is this doing? Stop. Stop it, I say. Is it still there? What? Uh... Okay, let me try to do this. Just to get rid of it. Clear it. There. Now, can you stop having that annoying thing? Yes, finally. At long, at long last. All right, now, I even forgot what I was gonna do. Already has quality one, that's good, so this is not one of the ones that needs the bigger refits. In fact, because of that, we probably need to do the Takachiho first, which does have the six inch guns, and those need to be upgraded. So this will be a bit expensive, but I think it's worth it. So four months, not bad. This is really not that bad. A million a piece. How many are you? Eight of them. Okay, we can't do this all at a time, though. So, we'll just do one at a time. As many as we can get. And even this doesn't really need to be done quite yet. If it only takes... Wait, I, it was eight months? I thought this one was... Oh, this one's four months. So that one really does not have to be done until the very last moment. Okay, good to know. So, we'll do the retrofits for these a little bit later, then. They'll just stay obsolete for now. Um, I might have to do one more upgrade on these, even after like eight years they start to... That's really annoying though. Ugh, can't, I'm, I'm stuck, I'm at an impasse. Uh, yeah, this was just taken out of context. That's fine. Budget up, prestige down, I don't care about prestige. What do you know, 15 <laughs> inch quality one guns. Well. At this point, we really don't need any other research, so we'll just set this to low, which effectively sets them all to the same research level. And I'm fine with that. I mean, is there any guns we even could get? Oh yeah, of course, the uh, Akumo greatly missed <laughs> the quality 111 inch guns, and 18 inch guns are just not gonna be important, so yeah, that probably what we should do is set everything else to medium and those to even lower, um, because we really don't need them. All right, I'm probably gonna do a little editing. Let's go ahead and go to war with the United States. We need a little bit of time in case the war takes a long time because the game completely terminates in 1950. You cannot go beyond it. Although I suppose I could also do a little a little bit of save game editing um, in order to move our date back. I don't like to do those kind of things. Why is everything with Germany some of the, gosh, stop it with Germany. Uh, we have a lot of budget, we have a lot of budget, we have a lot of budget. That's fine, we need to get those new light cruisers. Okay, let's try to get four more. Very good. So that probably means, let's see, five names. One, two, three, four, five, perfect! The Oda Nubanaga, the Akai, Hana, no Akuma, the Manudesu, the Korosuru, and the Akurai Inazuma will all be our last endgame, five um, endgame light cruisers. So congratulations to them. If you suddenly find yourself missing a command, I can only strap you onto uh, a destroyer if we end up getting any, and I know I said we would, but we might be stuck with the 27 that we have. And that, that's a bit low. Maybe we can build a few more, actually. Yeah, we have 30. Ah, well, yeah, we can probably build a couple more. Where are you? Destroyers. Let's go by here. Huh. Kamikaze is the one we want. Five. Let's go with four more. That'll help a little bit. Okay, good. So if you want any of the kamikazes, like these three are completely opening, but completely open, but otherwise, that's probably the last of the ships that we're going to be able to turn around. Yeah, I know, I know. It's probably giving me prestige hits, but when you're at 100 prestige, do you really care? 
Why with Germany? What the heck, game? Man, they really, they're just, they definitely have an idea of what they want to give us. And by that I mean a war with Germany. We want to control our own destiny, thank you very much. Give me the little pop down, the drop down bar where I can choose my nation. Those are wonderful. I really wish that would happen more often. But not to be. In fact, tensions are dropping, if anything. And tensions going up with Germany, of course. Why? I don't understand. Why with Germany? I have absolutely no idea how tensions are controlled. I think it's at least somewhat random, but okay, good. We got some more stuff. I'm going to have to play with this. We can't go to war any later than 1947. We really can't. So I will just go to war in 1947. We're going to... I'll have to edit it. Um, these don't take very long to build, so we can get a few more... Nope. Of these destroyers. And I guess two more, and then we'll start laying into our retrofits. The most expensive one was going to be the eighth month of... Probably both the Takeda and the Fuji are going to be quite expensive, so let's get all these. How expensive are you going to be? Yikes! Holy good lord almighty! Uh, yeah, I'm afraid to say that we probably can't support you after all. Sorry about that. Terribly sorry. It only canceled one. Well, fine. I guess if they're going to be stubborn. Holy cow. My god. So we can do two at a time, I guess. We need it though. I'm that just the Fuji class is gonna be one of our one of our main ships. We <laughs> there's nothing we can do. We absolutely need this upgrade. I don't need anything else though. It's fine. Oh my god, I don't know. What did we choose for the torpedo options on the Nihon? Good, none. It it actually doesn't need any. I'm glad that we did that. The ones on the um, Fuji are just fine, but we really didn't need it on the Nihon. Its 17 inch guns are going to be still actually probably more damaging than torpedoes. Okay, so that is eight months. Can we get one more? Let's try it, yeah, because in two months we'll have that one finishing, which is good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did that jump up to 11? Is it because tensions are dropping? The world may never know. Okay, we got that one. Negative 10. My god. The good news is the Fuji class, once they finish, don't need any help. So... No, no, no. Sorry, not the Fuji class. The... All the Nihon class are finished. I take my, I take my words back. Alright, so how many Krasamas would it take? All of them, not to... Oh boy gonna have to pause one of these it's not a good situation okay that's better one more turn maybe we don't care about the British and we can unpause now no we cannot wow good lord what it's the tensions that are killing us now oh my god we can't okay pause you Good. We just need one turn to get this guy out. Can we get him? Nope. Still not. Okay, well, let's just put a cut in here. Um, I'll do some manipulation off camera. We'll get... Yeah, we'll get everything set so that we're in good shape. Um, the increased tensions will also increase the budget. So, actually, I guess we should push on until we're ready to go to war, which means that we're going to have to wait for the budget to allow us to get all these things. Well, I guess if a few of them are coming back online, no, we need our Takedas. These actually have to be next since we absolutely need these first. These are our, our only battle cruisers. So we definitely need these, but we can't do it quite yet because we don't have the money. Fair enough. Okay, they finished reconstruction, that's good. Uh, Newest mode, ah, why with Germany? Why is this game's problem? Stop it. Stop it, I say. Okay, let's get the Takedas going. We have two Fujis, which are functional. That, And we have a third one lined up, too. So that may be all we're able to get before war. Because now, what is it? It's 1947. Damn it. Yeah, we definitely... <laughs> oh, boy. 
We can get two at a time, though. That's good. And maybe it's just fair. Uh, we need at least two years to fight the war, though. That's good. That's something. And we gotta do all these other retrofits. My god. Alright, well, let's get them underway. Takeda class. Let's get both of you. Rebuild. Eight months. Yes. Okay, I don't mind that one. It's not so bad. Oh my god, it's April already! Um, let's do this. Yeah, I don't really... I don't want to decrease tensions with Great Britain, but I, neither do I really want to increase them too much. Okay. 90,000 dock size, but obviously the game only restricts you to... Uh, yeah, we have a lot of stuff to do, my god. Uh, to 53,000, was it? Okay, that's one more. Oh my god, this one's paused. Resume. Shoot. If we keep going like this, the game's just gonna be over. <laughs> I can hear conflicting voices screaming in my head that, uh, you just gotta go to war with somebody, or I don't know. Yeah, so I'll, I'll put a cut in here. How about that? I'll let myself think about what we should do. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to edit it off camera, though, so that we have tensions like, let's say, at 6 with everyone, except for with the uh, United States, I'll put them at, like, 10. And if I have to, I'll just do an in-game. I mean, I'll, I'll do a quick cut next episode in the middle of it if uh, we start losing tensions with the United States for some reason. But that will also pick my budget up, and it'll give me the ability to... Uh, to buy all, all the re retrofits to do all the refits I need. So until then, thanks for watching and take care.